Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Didn't the shitty book special come out on October 21st, 2023? Yes. And what date is it right now? End of January 2024. Did you lose Yes, I book? lost the footage! And also didn't take my Christmas tree down. It's okay! Hi, I'm Akumites Camembert, and three years of film school could not shake the bad handling of SD cards out of me. To be fair, I did save it correctly. I just saved it on a hard drive that I could not find. Anyways, I'm super excited to rediscover and share my trip to Paris where I got to see Miraculous World, Paris, Tales of Shadybug, and Claw Noir in a Vaughn premiere at Media One. Nailed it! That's a long movie title. I was kindly invited by Mirion and the Zag Influencer program. And this is a day to remember, so let's start the day before. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. I am in Star's house. If you don't believe me... I could never style a wig that good. I was sleeping over there because we had a really weird route ahead of us. The thing is, these premieres are always very early in the morning. So what we were doing was getting driven to Tourcoing, which is just over the French border, taking a train, taking another train, and then taking the metro. Yeah. <laughs> which also meant... Guess at what time you need to wake up. Guess. Two o'clock. To be fair, I did sleep, not long. Jury's still out on what Starcy did because she had to work the day before and evening before and night before. But we got mostly ready and then we were on our way. After the first drive, we caught onto our first train. I just binged the office because I couldn't sleep anymore. Also, jump scare. That's what I looked like. Because yes, we were cosplaying as Imona and Imodrian for this. Then we made it to our first connection. This is gonna be a really weird view to get used to, but we have just arrived in Paris Charles de Gaulle Etoile which is the airport of France, even though we didn't come on a plane. Look at my emo in it. <laughs> we were still getting the hang of our characters because at this point we had only seen the trailer and the renders that were out. <laughs> you, you were not supposed to be nice to me. I'm gonna assume that he still sims for you. Called it. But for now we have to go take uh, the Erer and then the Metro and then we can go to the Media One. Yay! <laughs> oh, no, 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 no happy, no, no happy. happy. <laughs> then we got on to the Erer. Side note, this was during like the bedbug pandemic craze situation and I was too terrified to sit on the train. We saw the sunrise while traveling further into Paris. Then we caught our metro which meant that we were getting close and the excitement was real. Yay! <laughs> we can't be happy. Yeah. It is allowed. For now. For now. We walked from the station to Media One, but the fun thing about that street is... Is it correct? Is this... What are they doing? <laughs> no, I don't know. I got a little confused by the streets though. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> then we finally arrived at Media One! As always, the front hall was decked in miraculous branding specifically for this movie, and it got me so excited. We hung out the most here. Hi, Adrian! Oh, oh. <laughs> Proof on um, if I speak more than I think. I'm gonna do a man spread for you. Uh, We're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard cosplaying a man, guys. You have to think you're a box. You're wider than you think you are. You'd want to take up more space than you would, I think. I don't understand. Okay, this is an entirely other video. Perfect. <laughs> we also had to get some group pictures in because there were a bunch of international friends. This time we got to see Christina, aka I am Blissful from Germany, and also Mathilde from the south of France. There was this super cool photo of two which we also took advantage of. Speaking of multiverse, we also had a Shady Bug and Claw Noir present. Thanks to Media One and Disney Channel, we were also offered this incredible breakfast. And, um, I still have the cookie. <laughs> to be fair, it is not expired yet. I mean, look at this room. I'm, I'm bordering on hoarding at this point. We also got this super cute button! You could also color your very own villain mask and that really brought out the kid in us. <laughs> and then it was time to see the movie and like the stress and excitement from it was getting to us. Guys, guys, guys! Oh, How are we are feeling? We are we live? Are we live? Can you see us? Um, yeah. We are in Paris. Paris. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> also vibe into the music because they always play the best music beforehand. It's miraculous. We were also get to this really cool tote bag with a few little miraculous goodies. And also this magazine. And there's something cool about this one, but I'll show you later. Before the official screening, we also got to meet the men of the hour. Thomas Eslick, aka like the creator of Miraculous, and Sébastien Thibodeau, head writer and line producer of the show. Which I was like, so chill to meet. 
<laughs> they gave a little intro before the movie, but honestly, nothing could have prepared us for what we were about to watch. I mean, by now, I figure we've all seen the movie and the pool scene and the broken mirror bedroom scene. Yeah, we were wrecked. <laughs> Guys, I'm shaking. This is us after. Um, what just happened I feel like inside is, that room? Yeah, I feel like that is one of the best specials I have seen. I'm this not okay, no, just... Mm. Mm. Look, look, look at... I don't know. They, they, they do. don't have, they're... Afterwards, we had the privilege of taking some photos and talking to Thomas and Sebastian, which I'm internally grateful for. I also got to remind Thomas S. Like, that I was the girl that tweeted at him about breaking my shoulder while watching Ephemeral. That's a whole other story. Overall, this was such a cool day and this poster is signed by the both of them. I also got in one more photo booth with Christina and also gave her a very late birthday gift before we had to split off and go our separate ways. This was such an incredible event and I'm eternally grateful to Media One, Disney Channel and the Zag Influencer Program for inviting me. These are opportunities I still can't believe are happening and it's just very surreal to look back on. But of course, when in Paris, we have to spend like 70% of our day around the Eiffel Tower. So that's where we went. And we ended up filming some TikToks now that we actually knew what these characters were like and just had a blast. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm very new to vlogging. <laughs> I do really love doing these videos and I really want to do some other things as well besides these kinds of stands and talk about what I did four months ago. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheese out.